What month we got here? September 21st. And we, no, we, we got here in September? Yes, sir. We already got a turf here? Less than a year. Got a new locker room coming? Yes, sir. Several uniforms, several helmets. We excelling in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So the arrow's pointing up? The arrow's going well. Yeah. It looks good, like man. It. it looks good. You know, you just think about the logistics of it, that now you can walk right outside your door and be able to practice no matter how much it's raining. True. And you don't have to transport the mm -hmm. whole team and a couple of buses, which the whole transporting takes an hour out of our schedule. Yeah, 30 minutes going, 30 oh, minutes back. God. That's an hour now for work team yeah. meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Student lounge is coming on lounge. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Then when it rains, we're in the gym. We can't work. Yeah. Because this field was soaked. It was one half, a quarter of a day of rain and it was soaked. Yeah. Now we get, to, we get to practice at all times. Yeah, it's looking and it's, good. It's the thick. It's that. It's that. Like women in women terms, it's a good lace front. Like this lace front. <laughs> hey, this lace front. You know, he ain't <laughs> We got long hair. We got long hair lace front. This ain't no short hair lace front. See, see, you you could you go by the, the length of this thing. If it's real like that short, it's real cheap. She hidden. Oh, she ready for the club. She 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 ready for the club. I ain't never known to look at turf that way. That, that's, yeah, man. That's all right. Long hair. Yeah, players seem excited about it, man. Your assistant coaches, everybody. We got to get you some footage. Uh, we had a re reveal last night. Okay. We had a new helmet reveal, a couple new uniform reveal. We showed what we were going to wear yeah. at the Orange Blossom Classic. <laughs> yeah, we showed the uniform. So we had Spence, Scatty, and Nugget come out and our new looks and the new helmet. Zenith is doing a wonderful job. They partnered with us. So I think total well, now we, let's see, I think we maybe have six of five, five helmets. Man. Five different helmets. The kids like that kind of yeah. stuff, man, you know. The current was in the Pick somebody out there saying, why you need five helmets? Because that's what they want. Yeah. 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 We don't have everything we, we desire, but the things that we do have, we, we make the most of. Mm -hmm. And we don't complain. And under a year. Under a year. Under a year. We're just getting started. Yes, sir. Building. Building. Oh, my God. So you got your uh, your first SWAC media day coming up. I, I'm excited. I'm going to show out now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say some things. <laughs> I'm going to say some things need to be said because I'm not just speaking on behalf of uh, Jackson State. I'm mm -hmm. speaking on behalf of all HBCUs. We got to do better. We got to go deeper. We yeah. got to want more. We got to demand more. We can get it. Yeah. Done was already been done. But that's all we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. No, it's about growth. Exactly. And if it, and if it starts and stops here, we lost. It. It's, it's got to be everybody. And folks got to stop. This is me, not this is not you. This is me. Folks got to stop making it about you. Explain that. So when you say you're gonna show out, what I'm hearing is you're gonna tell the truth. You're gonna say some things that need to be said. I'm gonna say some things that nobody would say. Exactly. My, one thing the coaches know, they can tell, always say, I, say, I just say what you're thinking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And some of your fellow counterparts, head coaches in the SWAC or HBCU space, they bristle because like, oh man, who, why are you saying that? But you're saying it for everybody. I'm saying it for everybody, not just for us. We straight. Yeah, it's ain't gonna be straight. It's, it's, it, we have done all this expeditiously mm -hmm. with no help, like no, from inside sources. This came from the outside. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean. <laughs> that it, they they got to stop making it about you. Yeah. This is Walmart money, right? Now. <laughs> this what this yeah. is that I could I could name a couple more companies that contributed to this. Yeah. Yeah. But most importantly, it's relationship money. Oh my God. It's Coach Prime, us having a head coach that can pick up the phone and call people. And and the truth is that Walmart. With your relationships will do it here, they'll do it at other HBCUs. It's, just, it's so funny that you say that. This is a brief, quick story. Be careful how you treat me. Mm -hmm. I was playing for the Braves um, years ago. I was told this story. Mm -hmm. I didn't recall it. I was told this story that a gentleman walked up to me in a big sporting field of that nature or whatever and spoke to me. And I was kind, pleasant, generous and uh, sign the item for his son. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, that gentleman turned out to be the CEO of Walmart. Be careful how you treat people, because you never know. We're gonna put the organ right there. Wow, oh man, hit me twice. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you, folks.